So in this lesson, we will learn about the file. We have learned that there are two types of sentences. Can any of you tell me what are the two types of sentences? There is a uh, few. Two types of sentences. Rama, do you remember? Yes. Tell me, what are the two types of sentences? Mm -hmm. You learned in the... Wrong answer. What are the two types of sentences in Arabic? Look here, look at the screen Arabic. There are two types of sentences, nominal and verbal. What is nominal card in Arabic? Jumlatun ismiya. Okay, Jumlatun ismiya, yes. And uh, what is the sentence card in Arabic? Jumlatun ismiya. Jumla feliya. Okay, I will ask you again and you will answer me again. What are the two okay. types of sentences in Arabic? We have Jumlatun jumla is, jumla ismiya and Jumlatun feliya. Okay. What are the two parts of Jumla Ismiya? Jumla Ismiya Fa'il No Muqtada and Khabar Jumla Ismiya has two parts Muqtada and Khabar And what are the two parts of Jumla Ismiya? Fail and file. Fail and file. What is fail? Like Zahaba. Yes, fail means a verb. Like Zahaba, Kharaja, Kataba, Kara, Aha, Akala. So fail means verb. And what is file? File means the subject. The doer of the verb, the one who does the action. Okay. The one who does the action. Rina, read this. In this lesson, we'll learn the following. Number one, the fail. Or the subject file. of the file. Okay. The file. The file or the subject of the of a herbal sentence. We have already learned that in Arabic there are two types of the of sentences, the nominal and the verbal. The nominal sentence comments with a noun. And a verbal sentence commences. Four, four, uh, I minutes. cannot read. It's time for a zone.
Okay, from where? Mm, the nominal sentence comments with a noun and the verbal sentence comments with a verb. The subject of a verbal sentence is called is called fail al fail example jahaba bilalun bilal wain the file is marfu the file can be pronounced also example jahabu the wain the file is the wow uh, and then jahabta you wain the file is ta uh, Jahabna, we win. The file is na. Not that in Jahaba, Jahaba, Jahabal tulabu, the student win. The verb Jahaba has no wow at the end because Jahabu means they win. And he, if we say. Jahabu, Jahabul Tulabu is mean they, the student, win. This is not correct because there cannot be two files for a verb. But we can say Atulabu Jahabu here. Atul, al, at, atulabu is Muptada and the sentence Jahabu Dewen is Khabar. The same apply, applies to third person feminine also. Example, Jahabtil Banatu, the girls win, or Al Banatu Jahabna. Learn this rule nominal sentence Atulabu. Jahabu. And so verbal sentence Jahabu become Jahaba and Atulabu become Atulabu. Then Jahabna become Jahati. Atulibatu become Atulibatu. Did you understand yeah. anything? Um, yes or no? Not really. Rama, did you understand? Uh, yes, sir. Explain me in simple words. And if if the um, um feel if feel because uh confess be before is is called um feel and far in. And if uh, ism come before fa'il, that's muqtada and khaba. What are they telling you here in these sentences? At tulabu zahabu, the students went. Zahabat tulabu, the students went. Meaning is same. What are they trying to explain you here with these two sentences? You cannot use to. We cannot we cannot use to what is that um there is have double meaning me. Listen in Jimla mm. Ismia, you will use the plural verb with the plural noun. In Jimla yes. Ismia, you will use plural verb, plural fail with the plural noun. But in yes. Jimla failure. You will always use the singular verb. Okay? Yes. In Jumla Felia, you will always use singular verb like and the verb is Zahabat, which means he went. So Talibat is plural, but we are using the singular word Zahabat. But in Jumla Ismia, we are using singular verb for a plural noun, a Talibat or Zahabna. Okay? What are they trying yeah. to tell you here? They are telling us that if it is... Jumla Felia always using singular. 
Yes. Jumla okay. fili always using singular verb. And jumla yes. ismia. Jumla ismia using plural, uh, plural verb and plural noun. Plural verb with plural noun only, and singular verb with singular noun. Okay, in jumla yes. ismia. So in jumla ismia mm -hmm. we use the verb according to the noun. But in Jumla Fibria, we always use singular verb. Okay? No. Okay. Rabbi, <coughs> the next one. The, the mafun bihi, the object, the mafun bihi is mansu. For example, Fatahal waladu baba. The boy opened the door. Here, Al-Baba is Mansoor Bihi, and so it's Mansoor. Here are some more examples. For I to Hamida, I saw Hamid. Sa'alatil Mudirati Zainab. The administrator asked Zainab. Sharibar Rajulul Rajulul Maa demand drank water. Saalal Waladu Ummahu. The boy asked his mother. Note that in the last example, the Mafonubi is Umm Umma. And so it takes the end. The A and and the and Amin Fatah takes the Fatah okay. ending. Okay, Fatah. And the Prona who is not part of it. Ummi A who. Umma who. Umma who. Here are some examples of this kind. Pro I I to Aba by Tuka by Taka. I saw your, by, okay, by Taka. I saw your house. Bay two plus car. Bay two car. By Taka. Bay, okay, Bay Taka. Bay Taka. Fata hat Tolibu Kita Bahu. The student opened his book. Who plus kitaba, kitaba plus who, kitabahu. The mafunubi can be a puna, e.g., roi tu bilala was wasa'alatuhu. I saw bilal and asked him. What are they trying to tell you on this point? They, are, they are tell us that um, the object um, always giving mansu. Yeah, the object, um, the maful be he is always. Maful will be always be mansu. Which one is the object for the word saalal uh, waladu ummahu? Saalal waladu ummahu, the word um. Is Mafol Bihi. Oh. Okay. The okay. word um. So Ma is the Mansub one. Yes. yes. Um Ma is Mansub. Who is a separate word? Mm -hmm. Read the next point. The, the noon. Rina, Rina. Okay. okay. The noon of the Tanwin is followed by a Kasra if the next word commence with the Hamza, Hamzat al Wasan. Example Sari Ba ha, Hamidun Hamidun Ma'a. Sari Ba you know Hamidun. The meaning of Tanwin? Tanwin is uh, 
Um, Rama, do you know the meaning of Tanwin? Yes, to giving now to giving noon. Noon sukoon. Okay. So Dhamma yes, Tanwin mean. mean we have Dhamma on the previous letter and noon spoon here. So if Jim has Tanwin here, this means here Jim has Dhamma. In reality, Jim has Dhamma and noon sukoon exists. Similarly, we we'll see Jim Fatatain. This means in reality we have Jim Fata and Noon Skoon. So, what is the meaning of the mean? Yes. Noon Skoon. Giving Noon and Skoon. Yeah. The reality. Yes. So, whenever we are Skoon with Alif Lam, whenever we have Skoon with the word starting with Alif Lam, we read Kasra. Like so here you see we have a spoon and then we have the word al kitab. So here we will read kasra instead of spoon. Because of when we have school with Alif Lam, we read Kasra. So we read Jinil Kitabu. Same thing here. Since Tanween means spoon, known spoon, so we we'll again read Kasra. Jinil Kitab. Okay. Mm. So here we have Tanween with Alif Lam. This means we have known spoon with Alif Lam. When we have known spoon, we read. When we have known spoon with Alif Lam, we read Kasra. Hamidu Nilma Shariba Hamidu Nilma Read again Shariba Hamidu Nilma Then here, if the Kasra is not at it is difficult to pronounce the letter combination and L. This is called Altiko Usak. Altiko Usakinai. Sakinai. What is that? Sakinai. Sakinai. Sakinaini combination of the two vowels letters. Whenever such a, such a combination occurs, it is removed by inserting a kasra between them. Here are some more examples. Saala. Bila bila lu ni bila lu bila 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 Nibnahu. Bilalu nibnahu. Saala bilalu nibnahu. And then sami a paisalu nil aja ajana. Then we have learned earlier that most Arabic verbs have only three letters which are called radicals. The first letter is called... Okay. Hmm? Rama, read point number four. Okay. Number four. We learned earlier that most Arabic verbs has only three letters, which are called radicals. The first letter is called the first radical, the second is called the second radical, and the third is called the third radical. Third radical, second radical, and fourth radical. 
Know that in the mad, the first and the third radical have part her. The second radical may have part her or castle. Zahaba, Dakola, Horoja, Shariba, Hafizo, Fahima. What are they trying to tell you here? They are tell us that um, first thing. Most of the Arabic mm -hmm. verbs have only three letters. You three see, letters. Of them have three letters only. So most yeah, of the Arabic mm -hmm. words, verbs have three letters. And the first letter is usually denoted by fa. Second letter is denoted by ayn. And third letter is denoted by lam. And the first and the third letter always have fatha. First and third letter always have what? Fatha. And the second letter, which is denoted by ayn, can have fatha or kasra. Now read half of the vocabulary. Kasaro, he broke. Samia, he heard. Fahima, he understand. Shariba, he drank. Hafso, he memorized. Doroba, he beats. Dakola, he entered. Akala, he heard. Gosala, he washed. Kotala, he could. Hube, Kubesu, bread, jayida, well. Rina? Yes, sir. Inabun, grapes, mauzun, banana, inun, fik, fajarun, down, jawabun, Answers su u su alun question hayatun snake bakolun grocer asan thick kahwatun coffee dukanun so the plural is jakai jakakinun jakakinu jakakinu uh, sabu rotten writing board. Next time, inshallah, we'll start and that's no harm. Is any question? Ma salama. Jazakum la khair. Thank you, sir. Welcome.